Since spring has sprung, there's now more time to work on home improvement projects, but sometimes those projects don't exactly work out as planned. That's what happened to this proud homeowner who videotaped his handiwork only to discover it was all for naught. Yep, just completed fixing this fence. Pretty proud of it, I'd have to say. Try to keep selling the art. Now, you got to admit that's pretty funny, but what's the most optimistic interpretation of what we just saw? Maybe that the dog would never be confused for a politician because that canine was certainly not a fence sitter. Of course, a fence sitter should never be confused with an objective observer. And there seems to be a bit of confusion about my role here at Newsmax TV. You may recall that last night a viewer took me to task as, quote, a typical politician because I did not limit our political coverage to stories about Donald Trump, Donald Trump, and, oh yeah, Donald Trump. From the other side, another email that showed up in my personal electronic inbox took issue with the way in which I characterized Bernie Sanders supporters. The lady who sent me the second email insisted that millennials aren't backing Bernie because of free stuff. And upon further reflection, I would have to agree. It's not only free stuff, it's also their misplaced idealism combined with their sense of entitlement. And yeah, Bernie's promise of free stuff. At any rate, the viewer castigated me saying, quote, you are a journalist, report what is real, be a real journalist, and tell the truth, end quote. Well, with all due respect to that upset emailer, I'm not a journalist, I'm a commentator. When you and I get together, we discuss the news and share opinions. And right now I'm offering commentary, my opinion. I'm not here as an advocate for any specific candidate, and I reserve my right to the secret ballot when I vote, as I mentioned briefly last night. But whenever you and I get together like this, you will get what I discern as the truth in my opinion. What's more, with apologies to Bernie and his backers, it's absolutely free, even though they may disagree. So it's no free lunch, but it is food for thought. No extra charge. And that's the way I see it. Now time for the way you see it. Your comments via social media. Vic emailed in, and he says he agreed with my comment calling John Kasich's campaign basically McCain 2016. He writes, J.D., you got it right in regards to John Kasich. If he's what a conservative, conservatism, or a Reaganite are about, then leave me out. Dear John, pun intended, sitting on the fence is much like the middle of the road, in my opinion. It is not a right or left position. It is a cop-out position. Either be or don't be. Well, that's interesting to note. Listen, John's a great guy. He did balance the budget, but his talk about the border and a lot of the folks running his campaign came from that old McCain 2008 effort, ergo the description of McCain 2016. Next, it's Glenna who has issues with the treatment Donald Trump gets from the media, Glenna writes, J.D., I'm writing in regards to all the mainstream media demonizing and denigrating Donald Trump. Even if I were not for Donald Trump, I would be, because all of you are bullying our future president. The disruptors at Trump rallies are all Clinton-hired thugs. Well, Glenna, again this reminder, we're not the media, we're Newsmax. We have a different take. Finally, we hear from G-Man, who says he's changed his mind on the candidate he supports. He writes, J.D., I used to be a big fan of the senator from Texas. Recently, however, this battle-hardened Marine Corps veteran has redirected his allegiance to the Donald. I'm amused that Ted Cruz would get angry about a picture of his wife in attack mode after a Super PAC commercial showing Mr. Trump's wife on natural. That Super PAC, of course, was Cruz-driven, and he knew about it and did nothing to refute it until Mr. Trump countered. That was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Go Donald Trump. Just one note. Under the law, these super PACs have to be set up independently of campaigns, but there are suspicions about winks and nods and so forth. What are your comments? We'd love to have them. Why don't you send them to me at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments, or you can use Twitter at Newsmax Prime. For those you see and those you don't, Stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.